Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports that so far 10 states have reported cases of coronavirus. In light of the virus, college campuses across the state are discussing what precautions they should take to protect students and staff. Indiana State University made a web page dedicated to updates on the virus. Abigail Degler tells us how faculty and students are taking the growing concern. Abigail. Mike, Dana, the majority of students who spoke with me didn't seem overly concerned, but they did say they need to brush up on more information involving the coronavirus. I feel like we should take more precaution with it uh, throughout Terre Haute, Indiana, and through all the universities, just getting more aware of it. ISU student Dane Smith felt people weren't taking the virus as seriously on campus because they didn't know enough information on it. Mark Alicia, ISU Director of Communication, says the university is educating its students on the virus and what to do if it comes to the state by creating a special web page. He says on it will be the latest reports and updates on the virus from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, along with other reliable sources. Indiana State University is being prudent, and we're uh, taking it seriously, uh, and we're preparing ourselves uh, for all scenarios. He says right now they're erring on the side of caution. What we wanted was one place where students could go for the latest information as it relates to ISU. Another student admits she doesn't know as much as she should, but says she trusts the university to get information out to its students. The school doesn't have a lot of information on it, so they're not going to be able to give us as much information as they want to. And I mean, yeah, I do believe so. They're going to, if they have the information, they're going to give us everything that they can. Smith says one thing students can do to prepare for the worst case scenario is know more about the virus. Uh, anyone just getting more information how to watch out for the coronavirus and what symptoms to look for. Now, Mark Alicia told me ISU also has issued a travel ban on all sponsored trips to China. All right, thanks so much, Abigail.